Okay, we are inside the foundry and we are standing here, John, by this wonderful old, well, this isn't really a bell, this is a... This is called a pattern, or a, this is a pattern and they make the mold from it. All right, so you acquired the company and you got all the patterns, you got all the bells, you got everything. I got everything, and when you, when you have all this stuff, you figure, what am I going to do with it? So I thought, it, make some bells. Making bells. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like this. It was made in two halves. They put a box around the pattern, and they filled that box with sand. It was chemically bonded. With sand? Yes, and this is basically being done the same way they would have done it back in 1906. Pretty much, it's a sand casting. I mean, the the the, uh, the bonding agent might be a little bit different. They probably made in green sand with a clay and water bond, and this is a chemical bond. Uh, more durable, stronger mold, but basically the same process. Look at this. Oh, this is fascinating. So this sand comes in here and fills up over the mold. Fill the entire box with sand, pack it in tight so it uh, makes the compression of all the detail on the pattern. And they've got a, the other half over there, so when they get through here, they'll fill that one up. They the fill other half. that one. Wow, this is this is the way it would have been done 200 years ago. Absolutely, 2,000 years ago. 2,000 yeah. years ago. It really ago. hasn't changed much. Now, oh! Look, there's the impression. That's half a bell. That's half a bell. Where's the other half gonna yep. come? The other half is right over here. We're gonna do the same thing. Roll that over, take, strip the pattern right out. Right upside down. So then we put, the, you did, put these two together? We put the two, before we do that, we set a core in place that makes the bell hollow. Boy, this is a perfect, I mean, there's not a, grain of sand out of place here. That's the idea. Now what's happening? Now they're setting the core, which is creates the, uh, the, cav the interior cavity of the mold, which makes the bell hollow. They'll give the, the wall thickness of the bell half an inch or whatever it is. And so the metal is poured around that core inside that cavity, and then you have the, the bell shape. You know, I don't think most of us understand how this is done, do we? Not really. I mean, I but had it, no idea. But, it, but it, it's pretty simple, really, when you, once you see it. So you're going to put the other half right on we'll top sit, of we'll this? Right on top of that. And uh, that one has the holes in, punched in the top to pour the metal into the mold. So after that's done, we're ready to pour we're some pour, metal. We're ready to pour the metal. Oh, my gosh. 2,700 degrees. Oh. That's molten iron. Boy, you can feel the heat. You can feel it, you can see it, it's bright, you can, it's constantly moving and churning. You know, I've seen pictures of this, but I've never been in, in up close to something like this. This is amazing. This is the good part. All right, here it comes. Well, I don't want to get too close to that. He's going to skim the top one more time for any impurities that float to the top, because the iron's pretty dense, so all the impurities will float to the top. Any uh, sand or refractory. Now they're pouring from the, whoa, from the big bucket into the little bucket. That's right, the hand ladle, that, that's the, the, bucket, the ladle they pour into the mold with. One casting wow. at a time. How hot is that? That's, uh, it loses temperature. It's probably when we finally pour into the mold, it's about 2650. 2600 and maybe, tw maybe 2600. Okay, here it goes into the mold. Oh, it's going into that little hole in the top. Yep, and the mold's filling up. The weights uh, keep the top half from floating off the bottom when the iron fills up the That's cavity. That's what's making the bell right there. We're making a bell, yeah. yeah. And it's full. It's full. It's full. Whoa. Oh! There's the bell. There's the bell. Hot, and it's the real thing. Oh boy, that was quick. Yep, knock off the gates. That's the part where the metal goes in the, into the bell, so it just leaves the casting itself. 
Oh, Check the core gosh. Out. He just threw that on the ground. Well, there's a little uh, edge of flash around the outside, real thin edge where the metal kind of where it hits the uh, the paste. And so that will knock that off. That's not part so of the So he's going to knock off that rim on the outside. Exactly. There's a little a gap between the core and the uh, and the casting that makes that little lip. So we'll, we'll grind the rest of that off or knock or chip it off with a hammer. But that's not part of the casting. Well, he knows what he's doing. Let's watch him. Oh. He hasn't broken one yet. I keep thinking he's going to break it. Oh, you yeah, answered no, no. my question. I, it seems like I, it's... I hate to have this one be the first one. ...more <laughs> fragile than it is. It's yeah. not fragile no, it's anymore, cast iron. is it? No, it's not. Pure cast iron. Pretty solid stuff. Now it really gets interesting because they brought the bell around and they're throwing it into this big machine. Now, what is this machine all about? This is called a wheeler braider. A oh, wait a minute, a what? A wheeler braider. A wheeler braider? Yeah, it's a shot blast machine. It'll shoot uh, oh my like God. little BBs and clean all the sand off the casting. So it's nice and shiny when it comes out. So this is like a big clothes dryer. Tumble it and, sh and uh, spray it with steel shot. And that's what kind of cleans it up. And it comes in and it looks uh, dirty and it'll cover with sand. When it comes out, it'll be nice and shiny and How clean. How long do they leave it in the wheeler braider? Wheeler braider. A minute or two. That's it. That's it. Okay, time has passed. And Juan and Felix are now opening up the wheeler braider. And we should have a clean bell. This is amazing. Look at that. It's clean. That's it, nice and shiny. Wow. And from this point, all we have to do is grind the uh, edges off, grind the flash off, and it's ready to ship. Well, they're wrapped up. How many bells we got in here, Roy? Actually, these are 78. 78 bells, right. shrink wrapped. Ready to go. And ready to go. And the question is, where are these bells going? Well, remember I told you I wanted to get them back up on the highway? That's where they're going.